Today's mini, mini tutorial is going to be about lighting and shadows. Uh, some simple things we can do to take something that looks relatively flat and give it some, some depth, some, some texture, some perspective, uh, some, uh, some added realism. So this is a, a project that unfortunately I didn't have as much time as I wanted to, to, to build this. It was just a few days to throw something quick together. So I didn't have the time to add some of those details to it. So I, I wanted to do that now after the fact. We can add some of the, the lights and shadows to this as an example. And so if we start with the, the light layer first, because um, really what I'm, I, I tr when I have the time, what I'm after is this is some realism to, to make this look like more than just something projected on a house, but to make it look like it's the house itself. So in real life, you'd have ambient light, you'd have directed light, you'd have shadows being cast. And when it's like this, it's all very flat and you don't get that perspective. And so um, I'll show you lighting first and then drop shadow real quick because they're both pretty straightforward. Um, so if we wanted to, to add lights to, to this display, we can just come to layer, new and light. So it's or control alt shift L. So it's pretty easy to find. Mm -hmm. Call that main house. You can, you, we can, we'll mess with these settings here in a second, but you can choose what color you want. So if we wanted kind of a more warm glow, we could maybe go with, you know, something maybe kind of orangey. I don't know, we'll see how that looks. And then you just click OK, and boom, you get this little cone of light that's that's shining on the house with all these different handles, so you can uh, adjust it. And and I don't actually like how that looks, so I'm going to change it back to white for the, for our purposes. Um, within this, you have a bunch of different settings, and I'm just learning them myself. And so um, I'll show you kind of how I'm messing around with it to get the desired outcome. Uh, you have different transformations which have to do with where the light's going to shine and the position of the light and all that kind of stuff and then you have the options of what the light itself will look like so by default we got one big spotlight on the house uh, i can with the cone angle broaden that so it's covering the whole house the edges of the the light you can adjust with feather so if I turn this feathering down completely, then you're going to have a real sharp, clear edge to your spotlight. But as you feather it, then it's going to get fuzzier, feathier, featherier, if that's a word. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've got the, the radius here, fall off distance, some other things. Intensity, how bright you want to get the light. So you can get it really dim if you want. There's different kinds of lights that you can you can change and play around with. Uh, the ones I've used the most though are color, cone angle, and the feather. That's what I've used the most under light options. And so, so kind of what I've been doing so far is, is I'll start with one main source of light to kind of be my ambient light across the, the entire house. And then I'll go in and add specialized lights to where I want it. Like I'd, I'd really like to have some sconces here above the nights, for example, um, and have a light shining on them. So let's, and, and maybe lights shining on different scenes to draw attention to it. So let's say we wanted to do a light on the night. I'm gonna come in and add another one. Night light, put that back to white. There we got a, another one, but we're gonna change this one. We're gonna move it into position so it'll be over the night. So the point of interest is going to be where that dot is right there. And this line is kind of where the direction goes. And, and what I'll do, I'm not very good at this yet myself, but I'll just kind of play with these settings down here to get it to move where I want. Okay, so this, this setting deals with where the point of interest is, where we're pointing the light. So I'm going to play with those to get it pointed at the thing I want it pointing at, right? position is going to, to move the actual cone of light. So if I wanted to have this light coming from a sconce, if I put a sconce right above his head, then maybe I'm going to try to position it so it's coming from up above, something, something like that. And then with the orientation, I can fine tune it a little bit more, get it pointed the way I want. 
like that. And I can actually grab the straight edge of this to, to bring the light down closer to if I want. So it's really just playing around with these settings to get the light looking the way that I want. So I won't spend tons of time messing with it now just because that would be boring to watch on a, a video, but I wanted to kind of show you at least the general idea of where I'm going with this while I'm messing around with the settings. Okay. Let's try the orientation one too, so we can see what that does. Now that one's gonna shine on him nicely. So obviously some tweaking around and I'll get it directly above his head. Uh, maybe I'll make that cone a little narrower so it's just on a little more localized to just the night. Cool. All right, so let's say we got that done and we've got the light shining on it. There, there is an option in here to have a, a drop shadow, which is set to on, but probably because of the way that I set this up, it's not actually showing the shadow, but that's okay. There's another way that we can do it. If I go down to my layer that has the night, let's see if I can find where I put the night. In under one of these layers. There we go. There's a night. Zoom in on him. Okay, so we've got our night and we have a light that we added artificially to the outer layer that's going to be shining down on the top of them. So we want to create a shadow there for him as well. So I'm going to click on the night and my video copilot shortcut to find effects, or you can just search for effects the, the normal way. But with my copilot, I can do control space to bring up the search bar. And the effect I'm looking for is a drop shadow. And so now we'll have that effect applied to it. And oftentimes what I'll do right at the beginning to be able to see where the shadow is, is boost up the opacity to make the shadow darker and crank up the distance. Because sometimes at first I can be like, okay, where, where's the shadow? But when I increase those two things and it becomes very obvious, it's like, oops, there we got our, our night with its little shadow. Once it's there, then we can say, okay, what angle do I really want this shadow to be in based on where the light source is? Um, so with it being directly up above, maybe we put it just kind of down a bit like that. And once I know the orientation that I want it to be in, then I can decrease that distance again so that it's a little more subtle. It's given the illusion of there being space between the wall and the night and I can increase the softness of it so it looks a little more natural. I'm going to set that to full so we can see how it looks. Hopefully it won't take too long to render. Yeah, see that's starting to look really nice. Got a nice little fake shadow behind them. And then we can fine tune the opacity that we want. I kind of like that the way it is, though. I might just leave it that way. And similar to light, you can change the color and, and there's some other settings you can do, but that's, that's not bad. And if you compare the two nights, that one versus this one, you can see how that adds an element of realism to it and makes it look like it's 3D. So I'm going to add to this layer uh, 3D to that night as well as a light source and anything else that might be overhanging. So the edge here of this wood panel, uh, the, un the overhang of these ones as well. Uh, if I get a chance, maybe adding something more interesting around the edges of these windows that can also cast a shadow. So I'll add that too, and then finish adding lights. It, ultimately, I'm probably going to have you know one light for ambient across the whole scene, and then one for each night. And then I'll probably do, I'll play with it to see how it looks, but like a light for each window, a light for the garage, and maybe for these two panels with the small windows. And that makes a big difference in, in how it looks. And to show you how much of a difference it can make, let's show you this other project as an example. Okay, this one. There we go. So this one, let's uh, mute my sound here for a sec. There, you can see how much difference that light makes, especially if I were to, to turn these layers off. That's what it looked like before. Added an overall ambient light to blue. 
highlight our, our two nights. Put some light on the garage, on the wall, in that window, the door. And I'll show you that adjustment layer here in a second. But there you go. That's, that's how much difference the, the lights can make. So simple to do, but really makes your scene pop. Okay, then the last thing I'm, I'm gonna show you is what I was doing to this adjustment layer. There is uh, another effect called Lumetri that I added to this. I, I added an adjustment layer when you go to a layer, new and adjustment layer. Um, and the Lumetri color under creative has this look drop down that they're kind of like filters that you can set to bring the whole scene together and give it a common look and feel to make it a little bit more cohesive. Um, because maybe the effects that you've taken from different sources from Google and from different places that you found these effects, maybe they don't tie together as much as you like. So you, you can just come into the Lumetri color under creatives and then the look option and they have all of these different filters for lack of a better word that you can apply to give it a different look and feel. So then you can just kind of play with those and say, okay, you know, I like, I like this one because it brings out the blue. Or I like this one because it makes it a little more purple. And, and once again, just a final touch on the end of your show to, to make it pop. So lighting, drop shadows, and Lumetri color. Some final touches for your show at the end that I think will make a big difference. Thanks.